everybody to another episode of Movie Social. I'm your host, Ricky. Today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing Netflix's movie Desperados that aired last week on Netflix. And before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe and also let us know what you think about the movie and our review in the comments below. And so Desperados is basically a movie centered around a female who, in my opinion, in a midlife crisis, but also around her friends. And it's basically about her trying to, one, figure out her life, get herself a proper job, finding somebody to be with. But it's supposed to be a comedy, and it, and it was in itself funny to me. It expanded a little bit more with uh, the lead female character basically falling, well, not falling, but trying to be somebody she wasn't for Robbie ML's character, who to me was a total dick and a weirdo in my sense, because he had an opinion of females being a certain way and that they all had to be that way, but he didn't, or he didn't want them. I mean, he was very successful in business, but really wasn't successful in anything else. It also has a few other cast members in there that you might have seen on shows like New Girl or various other TV series. And so basically what happens, she's with this guy for a while, has sex with him one night, and doesn't hear back from for five days. So she, like a lot of females do, talks about that with her friends. They get drunk. But then she decides to send a email to him. Which was a very wild email. I mean, of course, it was drunk, so I expected it to be. Which was kind of entertaining, the way that they were coming up with the email. And then... Right before she sends it to him, mind you, she doesn't have internet of her own. She's still on a neighbor's internet because, yeah, she doesn't have a job at the moment. Facing, facing eviction from her apartment as well. And so she gets a phone call from an a unknown number on her phone. She thinks it's her mom calling from another number since she hasn't returned to any of her mom's phone calls in a while. Turns out it's uh, Robbie Amell's character calling her from Mexico, where he has been in an accident and been in the hospital for the past five days under a medically induced coma. Funny, right? At the same time, her friends are trying to get enough signal to send the email, and just as she's happening to basically lie and act like she wasn't worried, about him not talking to her these past five days after having sex, her friends actually send the email. But long story short, they decide to go to Mexico. Well, she decides to go to Mexico, drags her friends down there with her, all in the hopes to delete the email from all his devices before he gets to see them, since the devices are back at his uh, room in the. Uh, resort there in uh, Mexico. But along the way, she runs into a guy. She went on a brief five minute date before meeting Robbie Mel's character. And so he, she basically explains everything to him. They wind up connecting, you know, go around trying to get the devices back to delete the email. But along the way, she starts to kind of like him, but doesn't really realize it yet. But long story short, he tells her to show him, because uh, he has to know all sides of you. He can't just like the side that he thinks he knows of you. He has to really like and know you. So when they wind up getting back on the plane, she's thinking about deleting it, because she finally, it was a lot that happened down in Mexico that I'm not going to give away everything. But yeah, then she finds out, she gets the phone, he's about to be knocked out on the plane, 
she unlocks his the phone with his face and is about to delete the email but then thinks about it lets him see it he wants nothing to do with her anymore after that which I mean, personally, I wouldn't have cared about the email part, but the fact that you went through this whole elaborate this scheme and doing all this just to get the email to be deleted so I wouldn't see it, yeah, I wouldn't want to be with you for that, but his whole reason was just because of the email itself, the words in the email and everything. I thought that was too uh, shallow and self-centered. Eh, each his own. But... Her guy wants so that she really turns out to like, but didn't really realize it at the time. Recommends her for a job at a school. She wants to get in that job. Gets herself together and then finally realizes that she has someone that she could have been with that whole time. Winds up uh, crashing him, crashing in on his blind date, which is ironic because that's where they, how they met. And tells her how he fit, tells him how she feels, and he's kind of for a moment there like, nah. She walks away, but then he winds up catching up to her, and they go off happily ever after. I mean, to me, it was a great comedy, for the most part. Great cast, but some humor. I mean, it depends on each person's humor, each person's uh, humor and comedy level. But to me, overall, I liked it. It was a great movie. Only thing I would would have really happened would have been a bit more into before the whole accident thing happened, like or us seeing the accident, because nobody knew he was going to Mexico. She didn't know. We didn't know until after. But you never know. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about the movie if you watched it in the comments below. Until next time.